Arthur. Okay. Javier. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. There's a couple fellas I heard in town, they said... They said it was really... freakish. The family local boogeymen, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. They're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Yeah, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is to Cumberland Falls. You know it? Sure. More or less. Okay, we're way. pretty close now. Follow me. Let's stop and go on foot from here. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. Well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? You got your binoculars? Pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings. And who knows how many people are in there? <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Well, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Ten minutes I was. Yakala. 
Holly Gang all the now day long. Because Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. You'll shut your gopher, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take over by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then I'll jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good.
There we go. when the snake got you. Uh, mm -hmm. Guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but how about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab? Oh, well, 
Thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do. With him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Yeah, the Almighty. Always a doubter you are. I'm a man of this world, not the next one. Anyway. All right, man. Bye now. Hey, what can I do for you? Better outside told me I could grab something on his tab. One with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. Well, take a look around. Find something you like, I'll put it on his tab. Nip, nip. Fine choice. I'll let him know. Bye now.
on, open up. Here. Then you go keep the people safe. It better all be there. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back to check on you. What are you looking at? Hey, mister. <laughs> you might be getting too friendly with them hogs. Okay, my girl. send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laugh at Balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. <coughs> and everywhere... Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. It's night. Okay, 
girl. Micah. Hello, Arthur. Keine Zeit.
Braithwaite job was a lot sweet. of work for not enough money. Morning, Arthur. Any problems you shout out, Lenny? Morning, Good job Arthur. finding this spot. You found it too. You all right, girl? Good morning to you. Hello. Good morning to you. Hello, mister. Sir, good morning. Hello again. Hmm, I thought you were sweating a little. Oh, Nix. Thank you. Let's get back and do some great work. Well, howdy now. Anyway. Hey, friend. You've got a big sack to come back here. <laughs> well. Hey, mister. How do you do, sir? Morning. Good morning to you, sir. You are sweet as a peach. Hey, folks. Hey, Hello. Very good sir. morning to you. Fine day to you. Hello there.
morning to you. Morning, friend. Having fun, mister? Okay, then. Come here. Hey, mister. Oh, you should see yourself. Hi, folks. Good morning, friend. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Mm. Morning, mister. <laughs> Welcome. You just discovered my little shop here? Welcome, mister. First time to my shop. If you need bait, I got it. Weapons, I got it. Deeds, I got it. You just better have the right price for me. Got it? Hope you have a good throwing arm. No complaints here. Do it then. yours then.
Okay, then. Thanks, Though in truth, this man deserves no earthly respect from us, as a sign of respect to our Creator, we pay respect to the dead. Just calm down. Whoa.
Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse, and let's go. <laughs> okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're all fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. <laughs> so we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now where's this spot? Uh, not much further. This is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. For sure, looks perfect. Pick a spot. Lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese.
you give him any vibes on there, old Driscoll? I ain't an old Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with him a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Keep it coming, but carefully. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Now see if you can hook another. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Comb. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feller's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. <laughs> There's somebody who needs hey, to go to confession. Hey, watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. We you hope here for to. some fishing? You haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but... But, uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. What are you waiting for? For...
You won't catch much if you don't cast a line. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. Did you hook him, the big one? I don't know. Uh, don't feel like much of a fighter. Not bad, but uh, it ain't the one we saw jump out of the water. Ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. feel very big to me. No, that's not it. much chance we need better bait you might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better i think i'm gonna head back to camp arthur if that's okay sure go on i'll see you later
Hey, what the hell's wrong with you all? I hardly said a word. Hi there, folks. Hi. Hi, mister. Good weather we're having. Pete's hey, making folks. my head pound. Don't try and raise any more hell around here. Hey, partner. Howdy. Well, been a while since you were last here. Have a look. All for sale, yeah. except the floorboards. Oh, that's the whole range. Yep. That's popular. Here. Mr. Ballard across the way there is doing a roaring trade all of a sudden. <laughs> Maybe I ought to move. Some of the ladies up at the parlor house, I've been told they're, well, let's just say I didn't think Rose was in that kind of town. Fine. Okay. Here. Fine. Here. Another? Uh-huh. 
done. Something else you're after? Bye. Hello. Wasn't sure if I'd see you again. What can I offer you? Just holler when you spot a winner. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. I've one myself. If you're serious about your shooting, you'll want to add sights to your gun. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. Had to have it, eh? Rifle the barrel for you if you'd like. Fine choice. I could put some sights on that if you're interested. Shows well. I have one myself. I can improve the accuracy of that, you know. All right. Weapon's only as good as its stock. Got some fine ones cut just for it. Had to have it, eh? Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Hmm. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. Shows well. If you're serious about your shooting, you'll want to add sights to your gun. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. All right. Terrible 
Oh, we ain't gonna have this in house. No surprise. The Weights were behind it. Thank you. Well, girl. That's my girl. I know you can hear me. Don't want the horse's belly aching. Thanks for help with the horses. Bottomless stomachs, those horses.
Howdy. Hey. Pearson. Room by the fire here, Mr. Morgan. Good morning, Arthur. That's a feeling I can relate to. <laughs> Morning. You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been getting real violent for no good reason. Hurting people just for the sake of it. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well, you know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. Ripper, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. Well, there's always that. Looks heavy. Morning, Arthur. Morning, dear. Good morning, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. How's it going? Uh, I can't complain. Good. You did good with that graze business. Could use a slug of whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, hey? You look well.
Good morning, Arthur. Here we are, another day older. And definitely not wiser. Good morning, Arthur. Yes. Hi, Pearson. Why don't you sit? Morning. Us? Spy here for if you want. Okay, Mr. Hurry. Morgan. Yep. Hey, Pearson. Oh, hey, Bill. Okay there? When are we eating, Pearson? It'll be ready when it's ready.
Good morning, Arthur. I'll see you in a bit. What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Ah, I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be, too, when you start pulling out smallmouth. Come on. The fish should be hungry for their breakfast. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. Yeah! Been a while since we rode out you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This? This is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. 
He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you, you don't feel like, well, that he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. Damn it! What are you doing? Whoa! The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Good morning, partner. Okay, it's just down the hill here. Hold. Come on, let's go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the... There, so we're not in each other's way. of day really can make a difference they feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out got one. we're lucky we got such nice weather but rain can be good sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects he's a fighter trick is let him tire himself out. Okay, let's try for another. Well, I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. <laughs> especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of my... Here. Crickets. Thanks. Probieren wir mal. Another one. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah. It was a tip from that. Crooked lawman in Reno. 
We open the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Homo Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch... Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Another one. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Come on. I heard people talk about huge smallmouth in Lake Owangila, west of Strawberry, over in Big Valley. You need a lure to catch one that big, though. You got one! He's a fighter. Another one. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Oh, keeping you. Let's try for one more and then head back. What do you say? That's fine with me. Another one. Come on. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. Nein. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. Another one. Another one. Slowly. Slowly. Good job, Arthur. Not bad, you see? It's the bait. 
<laughs> it ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me, or uh, you keep trying for these bastards? Nah, I'll stay. No problem. I'll see you back there. Mal den falschen Knopf, er. Köder hatten der dabei?
Ach, da wird sich der Person freuen. Okay, girl. Kann ich da nicht durch? Oh mein Gott. What are we doing so far south, Arthur? I don't like it. Seems as good a place as any to get chased by the law, Miss Tilly. You ain't so dumb as that, Arthur. I'm a Negro. I know. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. My mama was a slave until she was 15 years old, Arthur. I'll keep you safe, Miss. You have my word. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. All right, then. Hopefully, this will help a bit. Who are you going to vote for? I have no idea. Guess it ain't no use talking that stuff will never happen. Thank you, Arthur. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right material. So, dann brauche ich die Fälle für. Thanks, Mr. Pearson. Mr. Bell. My old pal, John. Maka? Sit down, my dearest friend, and show me just what you got. Now forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. You know, I think the last time I played this was with Skinny and those boys and Strawberry. Before, well, things all went a little crazy. A little crazy? Ooh, my heart's racing. Okay then. Ah, 
Okay. Alter Trickser, Junge. Say I'm doing too well. It'll pass. Well, talk to Lenny. Ah, okay. Got some weapons you could sell. Susan. Arthur. How are you doing, Arthur? Fine, Mikey. Good. I've been worried about you. I really have. Me? Why? Oh, you know, just the usual reasons. I'm here for you, brother. Mr. Strauss. Arthur! Arthur! Hey, Arthur. Well, now, you sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunts. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Mm hmm Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was going to play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. 
Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... He's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. Just up here. Easy. Huh. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Found anything? Anything there? Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. What do you think? Big struggle. Pretty mm -hmm. recently, I'd Look. say. I guess Christ. maybe uh, 12 Come hours on. ago. But no body? Come on, before they get too far ahead. Yeah. Hmm. They went down the path here. How's it back in these days? All right, I guess. Hm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? He normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here! Come in! Trelawney. I don't 
know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. It just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He's tell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, oil matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the line. After that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. What he told them. Let's get after those sons of bitches. They've gone into the cornfields. We need to flush them out.
Dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Keep looking, Arthur. He must be close. Take him. Get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. Sure. What's government agents and about three hundred to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here, at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me. No. Say. What you tell him? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. 
looking for a job at the universe. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I... I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West or what's left of it, but... Well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Oh, heavens. Welcome back. Run up the tab now, have we? Hello. And a very good morning to you. Are you busy, Arthur? was gucken. Schalten wir mal den Stream ab.